you don't know what a focus pull is or racking focus, it's where you take the focus of one object or subject and move it to the next. This is used a lot of times in movies so that you can drive the narrative and have the eyes of the audience follow what you actually want shown. So you'll take focus from one object and move it to the next. And that's exactly what we're gonna recreate here in DaVinci. This is going to be on the studio version only, unfortunately, because it does use a lot of GPU power. So you're gonna to have to have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Here's a video shot on a GoPro. And as you can see, nothing is out of focus. And here is what we're going to make where you can have a blurry background and we can rack focus. And that way you can get different objects in focus. We're gonna come down here to the color tab. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab the lens blur effect. Come on up to effects. If you don't see it, it's right here. In the search bar, we'll type in the lens. There it is, lens blur. We'll go ahead and drag and drop that on top of our footage. And boom, we have a blurry video. I'm gonna click Shift F so that I can make the video bigger, but still have access to all of the settings for this effect. You can fine tune your blur here. The main thing here we're gonna look for is blur size. And this particular video, I'm not gonna get it super blurry because it's not gonna have the best effect. So somewhere around two, two and a half, come out of there by hitting Shift F again. We'll go and search for depth map. Drag and drop that on but we're gonna put this before the lens blur. So the order that you put this in is important. With the depth map selected, click faster under quality first. I'm turning the quality to faster for now. That way it's a lot easier for us to edit because it is very GPU intensive. I'm actually gonna go ahead and invert this. Now we're going to check on adjust map levels. And this is where we can get our near and far limit. Anything that is more black is gonna be the foreground. Anything more white is the background. Thus, whatever is more black is going to be more in focus and anything that is more white is going to be out of focus. But you can kind of fine tune all of that here. Uh, right about there. Looks good. I'm gonna turn on post processing under map finesse. A lot of the edges are more fine. It's going to make it look a lot more realistic. We have our isolation. When we turn this on, this will allow us to change the target depth. This is what we're going to use to rack focus or do a focus pull. And you can see as I go through here, it changes what is going to be in focus and what is out of focus. We're gonna adjust a few more things too as well, like our tolerance and softness. And from here, turn off the preview. Now we can actually see our image, but it's still all blurry. The other thing that we need to do is take this blue dot from the depth map and move it into the blue triangle in our lens blur. And now we can see that everything is how it should look. So he is in focus, background is out of focus. Now comes the fun part. We can actually animate the focus pull. Make sure you have keyframes enabled. If you don't see that, it is this little diamond icon right here. And we can move to whichever part in the video we want it to start, so I'll say right here, our depth map is the first node. So corrector one is where all of these keyframes are going to be made. And we'll start with him in focus. So I will just click this little diamond right here next to target depth. And that's gonna drop a keyframe right down here under keyframes. And we'll move along for however long we want it to animate from in focus to out of focus. So it's just a couple seconds. So it's like a slow focus pull. And we'll just take this and turn it to zero. Enter, automatically drops another keyframe there. And as you can see, he is out of focus and the background is in focus. We can kind of go through that halfway point and see it right there all take place. And then we can go along again, add another keyframe just by clicking that dot. So the background stays in focus and he stays out of focus. And then go again, a little bit forwards, add one, now he's back in focus. Go full screen and you can see it's racking focus, foreground to background. It's not perfect, so we can always go back into the quality and turn that on better. And now the better quality does help, but it's not going to be perfect. This is mimicking kind of what a cinematic video looks like on an Android or iPhone. You can mess with the contract and expand, and that will help 
a lot with these edges and the softness. Bringing that down to zero and then contracting it a little bit back or expanding, all that is going to help. Keep in mind, this is very GPU intensive, so every little bit counts. Make sure you have your render cache on. If you don't have your render cache, watch this video that's gonna be playing next, and that will show you how you can have faster and smoother playback in DaVinci Resolve.